What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to teach you how Udemy has changed their coupon and affiliate referral system for your courses. And this is exciting for me because it actually makes a lot of sense what they're doing because there were some problems before with the way that their coupon system worked. One, a coupon should make something cheaper, but really what a Udemy coupon did was just give credit to the instructor. And the reason that this is important is because as a Udemy instructor, when you get credit for the course, you get 97% of the sale price. So if you sell a course for $100, you get 97 bucks of that. You only lose 3%, which is really good because that effectively means you can just host the course there. However, when you opt into Udemy's traffic and marketing and all this, then you actually end up getting a cut of the sale price. And that's more typical because from Udemy's perspective, they're giving you that traffic. So it makes sense that that you're going to earn less money for, okay? And the coupon system, the way it worked before was you had this link and you would share this link and it would make the course a specific price and also give you full access to it. But there was also a lot of problems with free coupons and giving a course away for free is really tricky because it can be done properly, but it can also often frequently, most of the time, be done in a way that ends up being detrimental to your course. So you really have to be careful. And Udemy seems to really understand this detriment of just blindly giving your course away to free for people. And they've addressed that in these recent changes. So now let's talk about how the coupon system works now that the changes have been in effect. At this point, any expired coupons just count as an instructor link. So it means that you're going to have to recreate any coupons that you had before. You're going to have to understand how this new system works as well, because you will have to use a different strategy for the way that this pricing works. It's a bit more uh, flexible. So in general, you want to avoid saying how much your course is because Udemy will give you the credit for it and market it based on the like price available to that user if they didn't know it through you based on their region and like if they're new to the platform, etc. Oh, there's a whole bunch of other things that they look at. So in order to get there, you have to go to your instructor overview area here. And then you're going to click on your course and then go to promotions. This is the part that's changed and you can see that there's a message here. All previous coupons will be converted to referral links. The discount will be removed, but you will still be credited with the sale. So now you have your own referral link to the course. Anytime somebody else goes to this link, you are going to get 97% of whatever it is that that person pays for your course. Udemy will give you that sale. So it functions the same way as a coupon, but now it's more literal because it, it is a referral link. Before, the way it works, it was like they had referral links but called them coupons, which was just weird. It was a little bit confusing that you had to get to know what the Udemy lingo of it was versus what the literal word means, you know? So now they've reflected it so that it makes a bit more logical sense because now you have a referral link and you can create coupons and they've addressed that free problem, right? Because now check it out. You can only create three coupons per month. Before you could just create as many as you wanted. It was unlimited. Anytime something's unlimited, it's abusable. Okay? So they've changed it so you can only do three and it's not as easy to just create a set price anymore. Before you could just have a coupon that was a set price, have it work forever, it would always be $20. But now all coupons have expiration dates and the longest they last is 31 days. So you could every single month make a new one, you can still do that and keep your course at a specific price, but you will have to redo it each month and at least think about changing the price. That's something that Udemy seems to really be encouraging, is changing these fluctuations, right? So it's also interesting to note how they changed free course giveaways, because before you could just have a free course coupon 
and give it away, and it always made the course free until it was redeemed its number of uses. But you could just make the redemption number some ridiculously high number that you never hit, and that link would always give free access to your course. Um, a couple months ago, before this change, Udemy started to acknowledge that that is abusable and not good for the platform and for the instructors, and they changed it so that all free courses or all free links die after 31 days. So now that they've adopted this, it's, it's, it's even more of that approach because you can't even give an unlimited link can only last for three days. That's only 72 hours. That's not very long at all. And you can do a 31 day free session, but you can only give away 10 redemptions. So they've really placed a hard ceiling on the amount of times that you can actually give away your course. Because if you want to do that traditional approach of just giving it away for free in the beginning to as many people as possible, you can do that, but it only lasts for three days. So that puts like a, a more temporary nature to it. You inevitably can't rely on this. You have to do other things as well. And I, I like this because Udemy seems to better understand what is working for their instructors and they're reshaping their platform so that it makes more sense to us as instructors. And granted, I, li I like Udemy, but it still is a platform. If you are relying on a platform, your income can be cut and taken from you. You have to understand that, okay? So there's a lot of people really resentful of platforms, yada, yada. There are tools that you can use and there are tools that can also hurt you if you expect the wrong things from them. You should not rely on them exclusively. And if you do, you should think of it as temporary income. Important to note these things. That being said, I really like these new changes that Udemy's made. And I figured I'd make this video to explain how this works so that you guys who are making Udemy courses can better understand it. So as we just noticed, they've placed limitations on the number of coupons you can create per month. They've also changed how free coupons are created. So now you can't just do that always, all the time. You can have events where you have an unlimited free sign up, but for three days. And that's the thing. There's always an urgency attached to the free coupon usage now, whereas before there wasn't necessarily. Um, until kind of recently, Udemy did a quick hot fix, but they only changed that, whereas this is like they actually changed a significant part of their system, right? And as I mentioned, you can create three coupons per month. So you can see that I have these. I can make one more. And yeah, I'm showing you my coupons for this. So if you wanted, you could actually just use this. The 10 of you could use this and get the Nicaragua course for free. I'm not going to say anything about that. But if you're watching the video to this point, hell, you probably deserve it, right? Now, I'm trying to think if there are any other questions. So the, ne the next thing is how, how were old coupons handled? Because... Yeah, this is the new system now moving forward, but all these instructors, myself included, have a bunch of links all over the internet that are in this old coupon system. And basically what, what that means is none of those links, none of those coupons matter or exist anymore. Now they are just referral links, okay? So you will get 97% of whatever that person who clicks on the link pays for the course, but what determines how much they pay for the course is going to be different depending on their location and the circumstances of the user until you set up a coupon that establishes a custom price just like that. You will have to remake these coupons every month and that is something that is good. It's good to experiment with different pricing levels. Udemy has a history of this as well and one of the things that they're going to be doing more in the future is giving pricing more fluidity so that as your course improves, it may start selling for more money. As your course gets bigger, as your two hour course becomes a four or five, six hour course, it may start selling for a higher price because Udemy believes that that is something that people are willing to actually pay for. And if you engage in the marketing, then this is something that can benefit you. And I believe that you should use Udemy's marketing. Um, that being said, don't expect that it can do everything for you. You need to also be marketing your course, but 
having Udemy do marketing as well is like whenever you make progress, you're going to throw it to Udemy and Udemy is going to make that progress for you as well and double it or basically something like that. So it just gives you more momentum, but you can't rely on the marketing with Udemy alone. Now, that's about it. I think we've gone over all of the new changes regarding the promotion system. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you're interested in any of my courses, you can use that link you saw earlier to get that one for free, unless you're watching this video way later. Or you could look in the description of my video and pay <laughs> for any of my courses. I do have two free courses. One is about fighting fatigue, and the other one is a crash course about uh, YouTube. Uh, the fatigue one, I'm going to redo. That's like the biggest hole in my Udemy portfolio or career. Uh, because it's something that a lot of people who don't know me will try. And it's just, like, it has some nice messages in it, but it's not organized at all. I just haphazardly threw it together and never fine-tuned it and never really did much with it. It was just experimenting, which is one of the reasons that it's free, right? So that is something I want to acknowledge. I don't really, like, I'm not necessarily very proud of that course, but I am proud of all my other courses. Uh, the Nicaragua course is all about, like, how you can change where you reside and most of the things that you think are going to be a problem actually aren't um, because people live all over the place people live in different countries in different circumstances you're just used to wherever you live and you think that it's crazy and different but really with time you see that most of the things are the same they just are shaded differently or the person saying them looks a bit different and it speaks a different language but you still have frustrations, you have happiness, you have people who don't feel respected, you have people who are insulting everybody, you have people with low energy and high levels, sleepy people, you have people who are really empathic and people who are entrepreneurs and all this, regardless of what country you are, all these people still exist. And that's kind of the, the goal of this course is to show you that you, especially if you're earning money online or you're retired, if you aren't dependent on a physical job that you have to show up to, you have a huge degree of flexibility and you can drastically alter the circumstances that you exist in simply by changing the location. And you may think that it's going to be crazy to do that, but like I said, a lot of it's just in your head and it's hard to address these. And this course is all about that, addressing these common misconceptions that people have about living in a place like Nicaragua. It's aimed at uh, United States people. And anybody interested in living there, basically. Then the Learn screen recording course is all about making videos just like this one and also how to host live streams and set up your streaming, um, which you need to do that properly, how to purchase equipment, how to figure that out. Then we have a course that's all about YouTube. This is about maintaining and monetizing a channel, specifically about once you have a passion, how do you use YouTube to create content for that passion in a way that's relevant and makes you happy, but also makes it possible that in the future you're going to be earning money from this stuff that you're happy about doing. That's something that is really important, and that's the, the main approach of that course. Okay, and you can also book time with me if you want to go to calendly.com slash Jack Dermot Pittman. You can book a paid call or a free call. The free call is recorded and I can publish it to my YouTube channel. I don't always, but if I want to, I can. That's one of the reasons it's free, okay? If you want to make it a private call, then it costs $20 and I will talk about anything that you want for 30 minutes. You can literally just say the subject and tell me to tell you everything as fast as possible that I know and I'll brain dump. I'll do it, okay? Anything that you want. You can also use me to hold you accountable. This is something that some people do. Uh, the way that works is that we call like every two weeks or once every week. And you tell me what it is you need to do and what question I need to ask you next time. My goal is to get you to feel so confident that you're going to do the thing that you do, that you just do it, right? And I understand what it, what it takes to get you to that point. And a lot of it is about getting you to a point where you can confidently tell me exactly what you're going to do over the next seven days and it's not anything major it's not anything crazy but you have gotten to the point where you understand yourself and you can confidently say i am going to do these steps and you do it with regularity that's the momentum that then allows you to do whatever else you want all right guys thanks for watching and i'll see you next time ciao